In this video, we'll be looking at creating dot plots, but we're given an axis. Okay, so ultimately, we want to get to the point where we can create dot plots and stem and leaf plots without an axis. But in this example, we'll just be transferring data over. So we have a dot plot here. Here's our axis provided. A student records the following wait times in minutes for his school bus over four school weeks. So we've got a five, four, two, etc., all the way through here. Copy and complete this dot plot of this data. So we just one dot represents one data point. Okay. So in this case, one dot represents the wait time, the time he spent waiting for his school bus. So one day he spent five minutes waiting, another day, four minutes, another day, two minutes. So let's add these dots to our diagram over here. So we've got a five here. So we add a dot as you go along. And you can just go five, we've got a four, we have a two, we have an eight, we have a four. Now, once you add a dot and you've got already got a dot below, we add a dot above. Now, what I like to do is try to keep these in line. See how I've tried to keep these in line? And then these ones, hopefully, will be in line as well. Okay, two, seven. Five, three, three, five, four, two, five, four. So you can do as many of these in a row as you like. Five, eight, seven, two. Six. Okay, now we've created a dot plot and using our axis. So you can see here, I've tried to keep these as straight as possible. Okay, why do I do that? Well, so it's easier to tell. Um, so here I can see that seven, eight, and three are all around the same height, so therefore these have two dots. Okay, go on to um, creating a stem and leaf plot now. Um, we need to create a stem and leaf plot for this data here, and this is how many times um, people check their phone every day. So this person checked their phone 46 times a day, 22, 37, 15, 26, 38, etc. We need to add that to this here. Now we've already been given a key, 2 slash 5 equals 25. So for our data here, what do you think that represents? Well, 25, and then and they look at their screens at screens per day. You can say views, I guess. Views might make screens per day. I might clean that up. Okay, next step is we're gonna add this to our stem and leaf plot. So four, six goes to here, four, six. Now we need to make sure it's ordered. So before we put in the four, six, we can either order the data or we can just scan through. So I'm going to start off with my lowest, which is going to be 15, 15, and that's it. That's the only 10s. So I'm going to start off with my minimum. So in my leaf, I'm going to add 5 and then 5. And I've ticked them off as I go. The next ones are going to be 20, 21, 22, 25, 20, uh, 24, 25, 26, 26. So let's start off at 20 and we add that onto our leaf. Then we go to the next one, 21. And I'm just writing these in columns. Then we go 22. Then we go 24. Then we go 25. Then we go 26. And then do we have any 20s left? Another 26. Okay. And it doesn't look like we have any more. So we're going to move on to our 30s now. So the lowest 30 value is 31. Then it's 37. And another 37. The next one is 38. And now we're done with our 30s. We're moving on to our 40s and we can see there's only one value, the 46. And then 50s, there's only one value, 52. 
So now we have created our stem and leaf plot showing the number of times a person checks their phone okay, per day. And 1.5 represents 15 people, 15 people. And if we go through our data, we've just got all that data and put it into a stem and leaf plot. In the next video, we'll learn how to do this without a, an access provided. So we're going to learn how to do them from scratch.